I'm so excited that you want to learn the three ways to 10 times your profit with integrity. The things you're gonna to hear today, you've heard nowhere else. And at the end, I'm gonna even show you how you can get the tool that has created the most sales that I've ever seen from everything in my 25 years and the 50 million that's gone through my hands. What I wanna do in this video is make you an invitation of going ahead and trying Lindsay's method for your business. I think it's gonna work for you like it worked for us. My perception of myself as a powerhouse totally shifted. Lindsay helped me find my value again. I love this woman. I couldn't, I couldn't recommend her more highly. Her strategy, her integrity, and her authenticity just called me forward. Spiritually, energetically, inside my soul, I feel much more aligned with what I'm here to do. Definitely check out Lindsay Wilson. I'm completely grateful working with Lindsay had been the most miraculous process for me. She's a genius. She's doing it like no one else does it. She actually cares that I get results. I owe you a debt of gratitude that I don't know how to pay. Truly. I was the worst salesperson that I knew. I was commissioned sales and I could not make commission. And now the sweet people at Mind Valley say I'm the world's most sought after sales coach. So we're gonna dive deep. I have notes, which I never have, but my intention during this brief time is to share with you transcendent sales information. So let's dive right in. First, I want you to contemplate the lifetime value of 10 times in your sales. So for a moment, think about how much you made last year. That might be like 600, right? So if we take that times 10, alone, we're at 6 million, correct? And so the gap between those two numbers, 600 and 6 million is like 5.4. It's a substantial number. And the things I'm gonna show you today, you can hand off to a sales team though I will share a secret with you. You want to master this because a sales issue is simply a symptom of a huge business-wide problem. If you understand the things that I'm gonna show you today, it will rectify anything from, I have bad leads, why can't we upsell, or that feeling in your heart that you just may throw in the towel in this business and go do something else. Because the reality of the situation is this, and I'm skipping to the end a little bit first. That feeling inside of all of us when we've gotten off the phone and haven't closed a deal that says, what's wrong with me, takes a hit on not only your sales, but on your self-esteem. And you're a high achiever. Having an area in your life where you don't do well doesn't work for you. Because if we look five years from now at what that does to your legacy, the cost is immense. So, take that number, the 5.4, and I want you to think about how much time you want to work. Maybe 10 more years. So what's 5.4 million times 10? 50. The difference between where your sales skills are today and the legacy that you will leave in your life, even without inflation, right? Even without business growth, has a $50 million gap. So I'm gonna show you how to close that today. Sound good? First, there are six processes that have to happen in any sales transaction. If they don't happen, you won't close. A script is so like 19 whatever because no one is, when's the last time you bought from a script? I don't, when people ask me the weather, I wanna hang up the phone. So what we wanna understand is this, conversion, the act of taking someone from a place of fear to a place of actually moving forward and actually getting great results with you is something that involves these little boxes that you want to tick off. First, you have to bond with them. 
It should not be about weather. It should be about the fact that I have notes, right? I've shared with you, there are clients in the room, right? I don't have shoes on. I'm worried about how my double chin looks, right? We've bonded. Now we feel like we're getting along. You need to be real in your bonding with people. Secondarily, people must feel their pain. You must presence it for them if they don't presence it for themselves. They will not change. They are scared. They are happy where they are. They don't want to go to the gym. They don't want transcendent life. They don't want to meditate. If you presence their pain, they will. The next thing is something I invented, and I will tell you, <laughs> I sold $724,000 in a week with a phone, just me, and I didn't know this one. So this next one actually <laughs> is really freaking good, and it is intervention. In the same way that a doctor will say to you, if you don't stop smoking, you're gonna die, it is your duty, not just in your sales conversations, but in your marketing. Because what we really wanna do is influx all of the sales information and have it from first touch with your people. It is your duty to tell them that if they don't move forward with you, the cost is exorbitant. So I'm gonna pattern that in a couple of ways for you quickly. you don't change your sales ability, you are losing so many sales that you cannot even see. Because your limited perspective thinks it's just, oh, my sales team isn't making money here. You're losing upsells, you're losing downsells, you're losing renewals, you're losing so much. You're losing licensing IP possibilities, you're losing book deals, you're losing talk shows, you're losing with your husband. You're losing in the emergency room when you take your kid in and you can't get the best possible care. The ability to convert someone. Jesus converted people, like Jesus or not, that is your job. And to not know how to convert someone when you have genius skills like you do is a travesty. And so the information I'm going to give you today is crazy that I'm giving it for free. The amount that people have paid for me for this kind of information is huge, but it is my duty to get you to the place where you can transcend your limiting beliefs and the limiting beliefs of the people that you are talking to because their, their job in any sales interaction, looking at your sales page, is to bring all their baggage. They've moved in, they're like, hey, here I am and here are 92 reasons why I'm not doing this. If you watch yourself when someone's trying to sell you something, like walk on a car lot and watch your little like, I will not be sold to, I'm really smart, no one can sell to me thing. It comes up. You have to be able to hold to the transformation that you provide where there is no fear to clear their fear. So, intervention, a phenomenal, phenomenal tool in terms of that. after you intervene. And if you want to be really intervened on, I double dog dare you to get on the phone with us because we will intervene like no one you've ever seen because I don't care if you purchase or not. Actually, most of the time, I sit on the phone and I think, ooh, I hope they don't, right? Or ooh, I think I have to tell them that we're not a match because the thing that people get from me most is that they say they got a life beyond their dreams. I have plenty of people who will tell you all sorts of numbers of things they've sold. They are not normal people. They are extraordinary people, right? If I tell you about a person in 24 hours that sold so much, it's like, I almost can't believe it. That's because she was extraordinary. Yes? Most people will not apply most of this information. Most of us will die still having that voice inside of us that says, what if? or still having that voice inside of us that says, maybe they didn't buy because they didn't like me. Or still having that voice inside of us that says, I didn't, I mean, who dies and goes, I totally reached my legacy, I'm done, right? World peace is a few sales conversations away. And so that's why you need to know this information, yes? Okay, so there I've intervened. <laughs> 
You got it, you felt it. So after we intervene, then we wanna take them to vision. I'm not gonna teach all of this here. I'm sure you can find it from me elsewhere, but just know if you don't take people to the height of where, I'll give you one tip. If you don't take people to the place beyond where they know that they can go, you will not create enough incentive for them to jump high. If you see the space for them to be, I had a client who came to me and she felt totally unworthy of sales. I keep client confidences so I will not say all of the things, but if I tell you how amazing this woman was, like she taught herself how to walk out of a wheelchair, right? And she comes to me and she feels like she's not worthy of higher prices. Do you understand that that absolutely is a fallacy? I taught her one crazy trick where like during a class I said, this paper can be $3 or it can be $3,000. She sold and she is not normal, right? Like, please understand, I'm not saying this is a normal result. This is not average. <laughs> but she's like, Lindsay, I hold that paper up in my mind every single time I'm on the phone now. And dude, her husband named their dream house after me. The transformation from her wrong belief that she wasn't worthy to the dinner conversation where her husband says to their friends, hiring Lindsay was the best decision she ever made. She said, I thought that marrying him was my best decision, but he doesn't think so. And they had more expendable income than they ever dreamt that they had. Do you understand that the vehicle for you to get your gifts to the world is this word we call sales. Feel free to comment if you can think of some new word for it because I still think the word sales is fairly gross, though I love it and I'm pretty good at it. But the deal is this. The last thing that happens before someone says yes and changes their life is they agree to a sale. You have to be able to accomplish that or else you are not going to accomplish what you came to this life to do, yes? After vision, we wanna have your offer. It needs to be three sentences, especially if it's with strangers on the phone because they don't know you. And if you need to talk for nine years about it, they're gonna say, send me something. They're gonna step back into their normal life with their husband or their dog or their mother-in-law. Forget about you, think small of themselves, and they're not gonna move forward. I had a very, I had a client, she was awesome. And she said, it is mean to leave people in indecision or to leave them hanging. And the thing I will also tell you, tell you, which is the sixth part of things that have to be handled, is your objections, right? So know this, that when people say they're going to think about it, they're not thinking about it. They think they can get away with that with you. You have to learn to handle people's fear and not trigger your own fear so you think, oh, they're not gonna buy. That's not what's going on at all. And if you click the link, the thing I will bonus you will show you absolutely positively how to handle all of those objections. Objections are not real. They just aren't. It just doesn't work that way. So next point, and I know it's dense information, but I hope you'll hang in there with me because I am gonna show you. I'll tell you even now. Listening to me sell is the thing that has changed people's sales the most. So if you fill in the form, I'm gonna bonus you a call of me selling. I think it's because people can then mimic it and it gives them permission and it is crazy the non-average results that I've seen from it. I'm sure there are people who listen to it and don't do a darn thing with it, um, but, but there are people who it's, it's radically changed their lives. And so I'll bonus that to you, my gift. I should probably charge crud loads of money for it and I'm not gonna do it. So 
we want to talk for a moment about some hacks in sales because it's not enough to know the theory of sales. You have to actually know specific things that you're going to do. So for instance, leads. Everybody comes to me and they say, my sales problem is leads. And I think, mm, your sales problem is intimacy, right? Like if I'm Martin Luther King Jr. and I'm here to spread civil rights, I don't have a lack of people to go talk to about my dream, correct? So what I find, and this is sharp and harsh, and I probably shouldn't even say it, but the truth is this. I see a lot of people who say, I'm amazing at sales, I just can't find leads. That's like when I used to date really poorly, right? I'm awesome and all men stink. That's not real, and that's on me. And the shift that I needed to make in order to become marriage material was re-seeing that situation. So you may have marketing that's watered down and boring. I would suggest we contemplate things like MLK Jr.'s speech when we think of our marketing. Your marketing in this day and time needs to cut through the noise. It needs to be your mission. It needs to be on fire. I love the story about when he was delivering the speech, he had worked for hours. He'd given aides like assignments to do. He had a really, I mean, God bless him, but a boring line that he was going to leave the American public with. And Mahalia Jackson says, tell them about the dream, Martin. Tell them about the dream. He scoots over his paper to the left-hand side. I almost said of the pulpit. And somebody in the background I was reading this week goes, uh-oh, they don't know. He's going to take them to church. Now you don't have to like church, but your life's mission and what we call marketing, better. Because if it's not, like your gifts are outstanding and your lack of a sales ability is the reason that people don't have them. Like that's a really convenient way to keep yourself small. Don't do it. Would you tell your children that? Like you're outst- I would never say to my son or my daughter, you are outstanding at this and you don't have to give it to the world, just die with it inside you. Sales, I'm gonna, here's, I'm not a natural born salesperson in any way, shape, or form. Sales is a skill like carpentry, it can be taught. So let me tell you a couple more of the hacks because you need to know them. Remember that our litmus test for this is, are your sales transcendent? The service that is provided when we get on the phone with someone is in the land of miracles, if I do say so myself. That's what you need to be creating. And the customer satisfaction, let me just say this too, because the last thing that you want is a bunch of people who've paid you that drive you crazy or that don't get results. There are things like, let me just give this one to you too. If you ask people, what do you do when you're stuck? How do you behave? May I call you on it? You've trimmed like a year off them needing to hang out with you because you've already gotten permission from them to solve the problem. So do we understand? We're not talking about collecting credit cards here. Collecting credit cards is really not hard. You can go find some scripts online, manipulate some people, but I know that doesn't sit well with your heart. So let me tell you the other hacks. Sales team, I want to be brief and fast. And here's the thing, sales teams are hard. Hire three people, one of them will get pregnant, break a leg, flake, get a better gig, whatever, you'll end up with two. I was a salesperson forever, so I can get away with saying this. Promote the person who's better, give them a cut to manage the other person, you can bring more people on board, you have a well-functioning sales team. The other trick that I've never told anybody, which is so extraordinarily simple, is this. Your sales team is motivated by cash, especially if they're on commission, right? Like people who have big businesses and have a lot of cash, they like cash. People don't just end up with cash accidentally. It's a thing. And in sales, you want to understand what's the thing that motivates people. So if you have an ill-performing sales team, 
all you do is throw in a bonus. Hey guys, if you sell four of this thing that you're not selling this month, I'll give you this, right? Do some common sense with the math, but here's the beauty. Your salespeople are wired to achieve. Somebody bonused me for selling aloe vera stuff when I was like 20. I still jones for aloe vera stuff. So you wanna to play to the wiring of your people and it will be amazing what you can do. I'm gonna look at my note for one second and I'm gonna tell you two more quick things on the hacks and we're almost done. Your offer must soar. If what your people are selling stinks, if it doesn't actually change people's lives and it doesn't have some kind of no brainer bonus on it, people aren't gonna purchase it. I have a client who she would go to Italy to travel all the time. And I said, do your clients like Italy? She was like, absolutely. I was like, can you throw in a retreat like that you do when you're on vacation in Italy? She was like, sure, everybody bought. So make it easy for people to say yes. Throw in something that is like the spontaneous, they just, if they can check two things off their shopping list when they shop with you, like business check, vacation check, they're all in, yeah? You wanna make sure that your offer is transcendent. You wanna make sure it's what you're here to do. People get that you're offering something that's safe. Don't offer things that are safe. The world does not need you to be safe. The world does not need you to be safe. And then you also wanna think about your business model. Because quite frankly, if I 10 times your business instantaneously with a magic wand today, there would be so many jams in your life, in your business structures, in your client delivery, it would be insane. So the thing you wanna think about is this, time. Time is way more important than money. I have a client who came to me three years ago and she was exhausted. And she had 70 people in a $10,000 program and it felt stale. And it is the story of so many people They've like traveled up the mountain. They've gotten the success. They have a huge team that's draining them. They have very low profit and they have a future that is like glorified CEO and they're calling it in. They're selling something that five years ago felt like the right thing and they're a new person now. It's why you see all these gurus who all of a sudden, right, they were one thing and now they're like totally something different that doesn't really make sense at all, right? Because they're the ones that break free. I think most of us live quiet lives of desperation, right? And I think there's a graveyard where all those gurus go after they've sold all that crap and they've sold out. So don't sell out, right? Look at your time and make sure you're free. So what we did with Laura, the client who had all of these people, is we stacked her offers in a specific way so that her delivery was so simple. And she is not normal, let me be clear, like completely not normal. She flies here from Holland all the time, right? She's been with me three years. She's launching a new business that will be bigger than her original business ever was, that's true to her heart, that is so deeply profound it blows me away. So when we stacked her offers, she like works two mornings a week now, heals people for Jesus most of her time and hangs out with her mother who she was afraid she wouldn't have time with. If you build a business where you are a prisoner to time, you are screwed. So here's the last thing. And this is the deep end. You totally want to click out of here if you've been like, maybe this is appealing, maybe this isn't appealing because this is real truth. Whatever that little voice is in your head when they don't buy, whatever it says, like mine, I'll just be transparent, was always they don't like me. Because I had a huge I don't like me that followed me my whole life, which wasn't true. Right? Like it's, it's the point of being human. We all have some crazy second grade teacher who said something, or it's just the human condition, or it's the, the lesson, right? It's, it's here what we are to help people with. And so there's a pain that we've assumed. That little voice that's in your head after you don't sell is running your business. It's running your hiring. 
It's running your firing. It's running your clients. It's running the results you get. It's running your life. If you do not heal that voice inside of you, you're never gonna get to where you should go. If you were my child, I would do everything in my power to heal that for you. Who you can be on the other side of that, and who you can be on the other side of that isn't like deep psychological work, right? Like I'm a huge fan of, if somebody buys a 50K program from you, which some very unusual clients. I'm trying to be really compliant, right? So some some gurus have occasionally, because they're wild and crazy people, done with me. It is hard to believe that people don't like you when you're selling things like that. So action, smart action, can be the great elixir. And I know you're a high jumper, and I know that you're brave. And I know if we play out, how does this movie end? This movie does not end with you like, mm, I can't really sell, or my sales team can't really sell. Or I really want that TV show, but you know, I don't know. Like I have had so many interactions the other day, I was astonished and it's cause I'm like a small town girl who got to the front row in rock concerts. But I've had so many five minute yeses from huge people. It's astounding. So if you want to learn any of that process, and if you want to get over the place where you are, and if you want to see how it's not even these yucky conversations that you'd like to outsource that are the issue, but it is a global shift in how you need to perceive your gifts, your value, your I have a dream marketing to the world, that ultimately yields someone stepping up and you transforming their life. We would be so psyched to help you with it. It's not even funny. People joke sometimes that my Jedi skill is that I can intuit where people are stuck. And I would say after loads and loads of people, I'm really pretty good at figuring out pretty quickly, even before you do get on the phone with us, like the little thing that needs to be shifted that will set you free. Sales is just one little small symptom. If you can get truly transcendent, the power of good that you can unleash on the world is everything. I am completely committed to providing that for you. So if you're interested, what did we say before? It was 50 million? Like, if I up my sales ability five times in each conversation that I have, which is my intent, it's a wild ride getting on the phone with us. It's not what you would expect at all because it's ever changing. Do you know what I can create? I sat and I pulled this content together and I thought, you know what? World peace needs me. So if you're down and if you're ready, if you're not ready, don't click the link. But if you're ready, we're ready too. And it would be my honor to serve you.